This evening, we are hearing from the outraged mothers of two teenagers who prosecutors say were attacked by a Delaware State trooper. The assaults came after a simple prank, and it was recorded. CBS Philadelphia's Ryan Hughes has more on what the state's attorney general called, quote, a violent rampage. Both of these boys feared for their lives. Sam Davis represents both teens who prosecutors say were beaten last month by Delaware State Trooper Dempsey Walters. It began on August 21st in Ellesmere with a prank that's similar to something called Ding Dong Ditch. A 15 year old only identified as Jaden was captured by a security camera running up to the trooper's home with his face covered. He kicked the door, then ran away. Walters wasn't home, his girlfriend was. And in a matter of minutes, Davis says a small army of law enforcement responded. The fact that this happened to my son, I'm angry. That officer came to my house with malicious intent. Walters is accused of going to Siobhan Harris's home. Her son, 17 year old Alfred, was mistakenly believed to have been behind the prank and was allegedly pulled outside and thrown to the ground. Not long after, Jaden was handcuffed. Prosecutors say body cam video shows Walter drop his knee onto the boy's neck as he screamed in pain. Walters is also accused of punching the teen in the face, which fractured his eye socket and required surgery. They repaired his face with two big plates with 11 screws and mesh. Walters was indicted earlier this week. He's facing charges including Delaware's new deprivation of civil rights statute, which was passed by the state legislature last year. Jaden just went back to school last week, but he is still recovering from headaches, so he's in and out of the nurse's office daily. Walters has been suspended without pay with the intent to dismiss. He has pleaded not guilty. Delaware State Police tell me they are investigating any potential policy violations committed by other troopers on scene. Reporting in Wilmington, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia.